With Ornatrix for 3ds Max, you can paint colors directly on top of your hair and render it with Arnold using the Arnold material. In this video we will go over this process from start to finish. I opened up my character with some predefined hair here and uh, this is what we're going to paint. First I'm going to select the hair and I'm going to add an edit guides operator or modifier directly on top of the hair. When I do this I will go to the brushes editing mode and I will find the available channels drop down. Here we only have a single strand selection channel at the moment and what we want to do is we want to add three consecutive channels that will store the R, G and B data consecutively. So I will press add and I will call my channel color and I will give the prefixes to the channel names with R, G and B. So color R is going to be my first channel the second one is going to be G and the third one is going to be B. I have to make sure that I choose ahead of time whether to create the per root or per vertex channel and this largely depends on how you want to paint the hair. For example, if you want all of the strands to have the same color from root to tip, you can use the per root channel which uses a little bit less memory than uh, the per vertex channel. However, the per vertex channel allows you to vary the color between root and the tip of the strands. So you can use a brush to directly paint the colors like you would in any painting application. So I will select the per vertex channel in this case and I will create the three channels as I said. Now if I go to my drop down, you can see that we have the color R, color G and color B channels consecutively and I will select the first channel to mark the beginning of the channel set that we have just created. In the channel display rollout, I will select the multi-channel RGB option instead of the grayscale to make sure that we are displaying the RGB colors and not a single color at a time. Then I will select the paint brush and I will go down to the paintbrush options and make sure that the channel option is also set to RGB and not scalar. Uh, if I try to paint something right now, it's just going to be white color and that's because the color value I have selected here is indeed white. I can change this to any color I want. So I can set it to green and paint uh, my roots or rather tips of the hair's uh, green colors. And then I can maybe create a yellow stripe that goes down the middle of the hair like this and do various other uh, editing of the hair colors. You can use all the other brush options, for example, only affecting the selection and ignoring the back facing strands. These are available to you. So once you are done painting the hairs, you need to also add an Ox Arnold modifier on top of the hair to make sure that this hair will be renderable with Arnold Render in 3ds Max and once I refresh this uh, exported strand channels list I can see my R, color R, color G and color B channels in the list. I need to select those explicitly to make sure they are exported into Arnold. If I go to the rendering options I will also make sure that the current render is set to Arnold because that's what we will use to render and next I'm going to open my material editor and assign an Arnold hair material to my hair. So if I go to the surface shaders, I'll use the standard hair and assign it to selection. And I will also create a special user data shader for Arnold called the user data RGB. This shader will select an attribute from our hair, which we have created, and it's going to assign it to an Arnold shading pipeline. So I will connect this user data shader directly into the base color of the hair and inside of this attribute I'm going to type in color because this is what we call the channels. Remember that we also added the suffix of our underscore r underscore g and underscore b to our channels and if three consecutive channels have these types of suffixes then they will be ignored and you just need to specify the first part of the channel names which you have pre previously selected. So in our case this is color I'm going to my material, reduce the melanin a little bit so that we see the base color of the hair and then I'm just going to simply render the scene. The melanin value is still a little bit too high so I'm going to drop it even lower so that we can see our colors a bit better. But as you can see the color values that we have previously painted on the hairs are indeed showing up in our render and are part of the Arnold rendering pipeline. 
You can use the same procedure to paint various other properties, uh, not only color but maybe specularity or anything else, and generally introduce uh, the, the channel data that you have specified on the hair directly into the Arnold pipeline. Inside the Edit Guides or Modifier you can also control the display of the color channels using the overlay, so you can increase or decrease the colors that we have painted to blend them with the underlying hair shader inside the viewport. Or you can choose the blending mode and you can also choose whether you want to display the channel data or the colors based on strand groups, whether you want to display selection and various other properties.